Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So just a few more hours and you are going to have your CSI net exam. First of all, all the very best for that. Okay. I'm here to just talk about some last minute tips and to motivate you a little bit, calm down your nerves a little bit that can help you to, you know, to give your best in the exam. So that's why I'm here. So I can understand there would be a lot of anxiety, a lot of thoughts going on in your mind, a lot of questions, a lot of things that whether I have prepared well, whether I have done enough for the exam, whether I have studied enough for the exam, so many things going on because, because I have also gone through the same time and I have also gone through the same process. So I can very well understand. So how to deal with all these things. Okay. So first of all, you have to understand that you have done your work. Okay. From the past six months, three months, four months, whatever time you have taken for your preparation, you have given your time, your energy, your dedication, your focus, your, you know, every day, some hour or some time you have given to your studies and you have done your part now. You have to believe in that. Okay. You, you cannot doubt that because you have, if you have studied, you should believe in yourself and you have to understand that the part which you can do for the exam has been done. And now is the time when you have to calm down your nerves because see, if you are not in the relaxed mode, if you are, if you will be anxious, like that will respond in the form of silly mistakes and that you have to avoid. Okay. So calm down your mind, believe in yourself that will come with, with the proper, you know, uh, with the proper thought that whatever has been done, whatever you have prepared is with you and you are going to give your best. Okay. Sit in the exam with a calm and composed mindset. That is very important. Don't hustle or, or don't go for the last time because that will just create some extra panic, some unnecessary panic. Okay. That you have to avoid. So reach your exam center a little before the exam and try to not study the things uh, when you reach the center or try not to discuss things with your friends. If you meet some of them on, in the exam center, because that's again, one thing which can strike you and which can give you some sort of anxiety. So avoid all these type of things that can give you some extra stress. Okay. So you have to avoid all those things. Go in the exam center, sit over there, go a little early so that you can uh, go through the center process like your uh, biometric and all the other things which will be done with whatever the other uh, like all the uh, formalities which are being done. So follow them up, sit in your exam center and you will be able to sit I think by 30 minutes before the exam starts. And that time you can just, you, you have, you don't have anything to do. The screen will not show the questions as such. You can only read the instructions and also please read those instructions carefully. Make sure that you, uh, you follow because if there is something changed, like say if a calculator is added or something is added, you will get to know in those instructions itself. Okay. So read that carefully, sit over there with a relaxed mindset. Then as the exam starts, just start solving those questions and don't Again, when the exam, when you have, when you have just started giving answers, when you have just started solving questions, you don't have to be anxious over there. Why? Because it might happen that the first question which you see are, you are not able to do that, or it is not from the topic which you have studied. Let's say the first question came from quantum chemistry and you have not studied quantum chemistry, for example. So you just have to skip that. Okay. You have to go to the next one. And let's say the second question is also the one which you are, you don't know skip that, go to the third one. So you don't have to panic if you are not able to solve consecutive questions because you have to wait for those questions or those topics from where you have studied and you are able to do. So for that, I usually suggest students to do the paper in a, in a way because you have 120 questions. So when you go in a particular section, let's say you start from a particular section, let's say you start from section C. Uh, so I'm not telling any strategy as of now, because you only have few hours left for the exam. I would not suggest anything. It is all up to you. This section you are going to do first. Okay. It's all up to you. I'm not suggesting for that, but whatever section you have taken for the first or whatever section you have taken, let's say you have started from section C, let's say. Okay. So in that case, you have to go through all the questions one by one, just read all the questions one by one. You don't have to mark answer or anything, but you can take advantage of the of a particular uh, like option which you have either mark for review or you, there will be option for flag okay these and any of these two options would be there depending upon the interface in gate exam we have that mark for review in csr generally we have that flag option so you can flag that question that yes this question you know and go to the next one okay read flag question and go to the next why i'm telling this because this will just take around 15 or 20 minutes of yours. But in that process or in that time, you will be able to know how many questions and from where the questions are asked and which questions you know exactly. 
then go to the flagged question and try to solve that. This will give you an idea that you will not get panic in the exam. This will just re reduce your stress, reduce your you know anxiety in the exam. That is very important to keep your nerves relaxed. That is really, really important. This is something which I have told students in the past also and they have tried to do it. It's not any strategy or not any type of you know any uh, new strategy or something it's just a way how you solve the question paper okay so just for the first 10 or 15 minutes read all the questions go one by one flag those questions or mark for review those questions which you think that you will be able to solve or the questions from uh, which are asked from your uh, like area from where you have studied so mark those questions and then come come back and try to solve that you might think that it will it is wasting your time but it's not it is giving you an idea that how many questions are asked from which topic and how many questions you exactly know and that will save a lot of time of yours in choosing the questions especially in part c coming to part b again same thing you can do for part b also and same thing you can do for part a so you have to utilize your time very wisely first of all you don't have to panic and make sure that it does not happen uh, that when you are uh, when you are able to not able to solve a particular question that should not give you extra stress for the next question because that will just add up to your anxiety level and you might start doing some silly mistakes okay so avoid doing that be relaxed if let's say there are three four questions which you are not able to solve or you are like let's say you are you started getting panic in that case just take a relaxed let's just take a 30 minute 30 seconds break okay not 30 minutes yeah just take a 30 seconds break drink water if it is allowed in your center okay and then start the next one because sometimes it happens that when you are doing consecutive and your mind just gets stuck in a particular situation which it does not able to uh, identify or it, it is it does not able to solve the questions because you are in a panic state so when you relax down a little bit the same question which you were panicking about you might be able to solve them so these are some very small tips some very small points which i always suggest student to follow in the exam and believe in yourself that is very important okay you have given your best till now whatever your score were there in the mock test or whatever just forget them okay you have studied just focus on that that you have studied and you know concepts you are not someone who is coming to the exam without any preparation okay you have prepared for the exam so three things you have to focus upon first of all you don't have to panic you have to keep your mind relaxed you have to keep your nerves down you have to be in a in a normal state second thing is that you have to, you have to utilize your time in a way you can either follow this trip which i have told you that you can read the questions first flag those questions or mark those questions and then solve it's up to you okay if you want to follow that you can follow that if you don't want you can go with your own strategy and the third thing is that you don't have to panic if you are able to do if you are not able to do two or three questions in a consecutive way take a break then start solving the next one okay so i wish you all the best for the exam i believe in all of you whosoever is watching this video if you have prepared for this exam i believe in you and you will be able to do it okay so First thing is that you have to be confident about yourself and give your best in the exam. Whatever the result is, whatever happens, we will discuss about it after the exam is uh, after the exam is done. Okay, but for now you have to be confident. You have to be happy about it that you have prepared for it, and you are going to give the exam. You are going to sit for the exam. All right. So having said that, all the best for the exam once again. Take care and give your best, and we will meet after the exam and we will discuss probably when i'll get the question papers we'll discuss the questions and the solutions of them so take care bye bye and see you guys in the next one take care